So recently, mother came to visit us and she said if I can buy for her a table lamp. So today we're going to make a table lamp. Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Since we don't have much time, I'm gonna print table lamp in a vase mode. So let's jump right in. So the idea is, I will print this shade that I was already printing in my bedroom from glow-in-the-dark filament and then it's gonna look something like that. Then I'm gonna put lamp holder and switch here at the bottom. So let's print our glow-in-the-dark shade. So this is our lampshade, it's gonna be looking like this, then maybe we will print some nice top to cover it, but for now let's print stand that I made where we're gonna have the power switch. So while the bottom part of this lamp is printing, we already can assemble the top part. For that we're going to use a glue gun, the actual lamp stand and this holder where you screw the lamp in. So diameter of this holder is 38 millimeters. Here I made 40. So we have 2 millimeters on each side and only for this purpose we're going to use glue gun. So the heat gun is already hot, so we put some glue on the bottom. Now let's insert. The most important to make sure that it's all straight. And now let's wait for it to cool down a little bit. So when it's cooled down we can put some glue inside on the bottom, just like that. We can make the wire a little bit shorter. I am electrical engineer, so basically I know what I'm doing. So now let's assemble the lamp. So that's how it's going to look for now. I think I'm gonna print ring over here that will overlap from here to here so that I can hide this connection. So let's wait for the bottom part to finish. Okay, so let's remove this beautiful tree support. Let's remove the brim. Here also, small piece of support. Now, we will need to test how it fits. It fits perfectly. I would say a little bit too loose, but we can fix that with hot glue. So this is our stand. Let's try how this thing will work. Okay, this will fit perfectly. So now, Let's connect everything. I'm afraid I need to make hole a little bit bigger. So I'm finally through. Okay, so now let's solder our button. So we have wire inside through the button hole. And now one of these power wires we need to connect to the button. And then we need to connect one of these wires from the lamp also to the button. looks good. Now we need to connect another two wires and seal them with this tube. Ok, 
Okay, now all these can go inside. So here is our switch. Now let's warm up the heat gun so that we can fix all the wires in place and add some maybe stones I have uh, for the weight. So when the glue is hot enough, first I want to make this wire straight and he has to be attached to the lamp. In case of someone will pull the wire, it's not gonna come out. Then I want to attach the button so that it won't wobble and slightly protect the wires from the wobbling. And that's how it looks like. Then I'm gonna put some stones. I'm gonna seal the stones on top also with the glue. Okay, feels a little bit heavy. Switch is not wobbling. Now it's time to close it all together. So for that, from inside, I wanna apply hot glue. And insert the lamp. And wait for everything to get dry. Now it's time for our ring. So the ring will be here. This is our lamp. We need to find approximate height of the ring. I would say this is perfect. Now I need to seal the ring in place. Together with the lamp. That looks just perfect. So all what we have to do is just print this sharp edge that will make to look our lamp like a diamond. And basically it's gonna be finished. Okay, so that's our final part. I wanted to make it also glow in the night, but I decided to make it silver so that it makes the lamp looks complete. Let's see how it fits together. Okay, it looks perfect. Now let's see this lamp in action. So as you can see, the lamp turned out very nice. It will be a very beautiful decoration for your desk. It's kind of modern style. So you switch it on. Let me switch off the lights. And it's still glowing in the dark. I didn't finish the spike because uh, I'm uh, afraid that the heat produced by the light will stay inside and it will become hot, but this way the heat is gonna come out. Overall, because I printed in vase mode, this side is the most fragile, so basically if I heat it strongly, here can be attached. All the parts designed so that you can print in normal mode or in vase mode can do different colors. This can be some translucent blue or maybe red or any what your imagination can do. I made it with a glow-in-the-dark filament. You have to be also careful with uh, all the electronics. You need to understand what you're doing. It's not that complicated, but still uh, you need to have some knowledge. But overall, it's a nice present or good decoration for your home, especially if you print few of them. And for those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe and have a great print.